We're just about to cross off uh, Katero Strail into uh, Paso Robalos. It's an amazing view of the color green down there. Wow. I think that's Baker, I'm not sure. Doesn't look as running as fast. Cool, so this is where we say goodbye to Katara Route 7 and we go to Paso Robalos. The road is much smaller, isn't it? <laughs> 72 kilometers of this, hurrah! Lucky it's sunny and the scenery is supposed to be spectacular so cool guys I'll um I won't let you watch the whole 72 I'll put some video back on when it gets a little bit more exciting okay ciao hey guys so yep yeah, I'm on um the road now off route 7 um just wanted to give you a quick uh, I've only been riding in like 10 minutes but man for anybody doing trips like this it it's very very well, I, I would highly recommend taking trips off the main roads like a lot of people just stick to Pan America Highway and they just ride all the way to Ushuaia turn around and come back they don't venture off too much but I mean if you want proper adventure like these these roads are the ones to be taking there um, there's no traffic on them um, which is quite nice the scenery is just uh, spectating uh, spectacular sorry And yeah, you pretty much got the whole road to yourself. Um, I've seen hundreds of these little llama things. Uh, I don't know what the actual name of them is in Spanish. But they definitely rule these lands. They're um, all over the place. Um, so yeah, so I haven't seen one car on here yet. Um, or motorbike or anybody really. So there's no fences. So if you want to go camping, you can just go camp anywhere. Uh, so yeah, it's definitely... I highly recommend um, always trying to stay off the big roads uh, as much as possible. Obviously, it's not it's not um, always possible if this is the only road that goes to your country, like uh, Route 7. So yeah. Anyway, that's it. Yeah. Enjoy.